Muammar Qaddafi had held Libya together for decades, but since Qaddafi's fall in late 2011, feuding militia have driven the country's destiny. In recent weeks, they have intensified their fight to control the capital and the eastern city of Benghazi. The government says the fighting now threatens Libya's very existence. Analysts say the region is also threatened. There is no effective police or army to protect the people from the militias wrecking havoc. The winners are well-armed fundamentalists with foreign assistance. They want a dictatorship under Islamist pretext and it could spill over. Egypt and Tunisia are feeling the heat. Thousands of expats are stranded on the borders as evacuation slowly continues. But terrorism is a far more dangerous threat to Libya's neighbors. The Arab Spring uprisings led to the absence of security in these countries, so Islamist terrorists smuggled militants and arms and created bases there. Libya, for example, has become out of control, and some politicians are calling for military intervention. Egypt, fighting its own internal war on terrorism, could find itself dragged into the Libyan conflict. Militants enter through the borders to perform hostile operations in Egypt. We protect the huge Libyan borders alone. What I care most about is to protect our borders at all costs. Experts fear in the absence of a solution, Libya could end up divided into small states. It's a recurring scenario in all Arab Spring nations, one of chaos and violence rather than peace and prosperity. Experts say what was supposed to be an Arab Spring is becoming a long, cold winter. Yes, Hakim for CCTV, Cairo.